Royal Caribbean Group is the latest cruise company to announce that it'll require COVID-19 vaccinations for all of its shipboard crew members. Royal Caribbean said, at this point in our planning, based on science and the guidance from our experts, we are shifting from a strategy based primarily on protocols to one that is based on vaccines supported by protocols. The requirement will impact crew members on Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, and Silver Sea. Guests have not yet been incorporated in the vaccination conversation. And despite a cruise ship ban from Canada that runs through next February, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity are still holding the line and not canceling Alaska or Canada New England sailings as of yet. In an email to travel agents, Royal said that it is, quote, continuing to work with the government and the Cruise Lines International Association on potential alternatives. While Royal Caribbean has continued to explore options, it has also extended the final payment due dates to 45 days prior to departure for the impacted sailings. And Holland America Line has announced the senior officers for its new ship Rotterdam. Last week, the line introduced the staff captain, hotel director, chief engineer, staff chief engineer, and environmental officer, all who each have diverse and extensive backgrounds in the maritime industry. Rotterdam, which is a Pinnacle-class cruise ship, is currently being finalized at Fincantieri Shipyard in Italy and is set to sail her inaugural voyage on August 1st from Venice. She'll join sister ships Koningsdam and New Stottendam. And cruise line stocks were down on Friday. Carnival Corporation at 20.60, down 1%. Royal at 67.73, down a half percent. And NCL also down 1% to 23.54. The markets are closed today in observation of President's Day. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise Radio News.